Well, staying with health, as COVID vaccination rates increase around the world and the end of the pandemic comes closer into view, researchers in the UK are hoping a new vaccine could also spell the end of the decades-long HIV-AIDS epidemic. Thomas Hankey is a professor at the University of Oxford and the trial's lead researcher who joins us this morning. Great to see you. Good morning. Thomas, let me ask you, your team is really taking a novel approach to this HIV vaccine. How is it different and how exactly does it work? Well, most of the field has been focusing on protection through the use of broadly neutralizing antibodies. Our vaccine aims to induce killer T cells. And uh, the way it works is that we are trying to aim the immune responses at the weakest point on HIV. That is the functionally conserved regions that HIV cannot easily escape and change. And also these uh, regions are common to all the global variants. So if our vaccine uh, is useful, it could be uh, deployed globally. And so you're hoping to kill the virus with those T cells completely? How does that work? So uh, when virus gets into the body, it, it, it infects cells and they start to produce more of uh, the viruses and spread the infection. And our killer T cells are going to kill these virus factories in the bodies before it can hopefully um, establish a generalized infection or slow the virus down and help the broadly neutralizing antibodies to uh, together with the killer T cells to stop the infection. Mm -hmm. uh, doctor, I understand you've uh, administered the vaccine to 13 healthy people to test its immune response. Could a successful preventative vaccine also be used as a cure for people who are already infected with HIV? Yes, yeah, so this first trial in Oxford is a uh, start of a quite complex program where we're testing this vaccine in HIV negative individuals for prevention. And we also plan a series of trials in uh, people living with HIV as a cure. And there we're going to also combine our forces with some other drugs in order to try to uh, establish a control of the virus in the body. You know, nearly 38 million people worldwide are living with HIV. About 70 percent live in Africa. Let me ask you, Thomas, I mean, with proper uh, and constant treatment, you know, infected people can live as long as uninfected people right now. Why is this vaccine so important? Well, the antiretroviral treatment has certainly changed the lives of people. It's uh, not a death sentence anymore. It's a, uh, it changed uh, this disease into a chronic infection. Unfortunately, antiretroviral treatment doesn't get rid of the virus and it has to be used for the rest of the life. And this magnifies all the medical side effects that these uh, drugs may have. It still may give an opportunity for the virus to escape. Of course, there is social stigma. There are challenges uh, with providing these pills to everybody who needs it in Africa. And also adherence because people get uh, tired of taking a pill a day. So vaccine is uh, even in the context of using this antiretroviral drugs as prevention. Vaccine is still the best and most economical solution and likely a key component of any strategy to end the epidemic. Mm -hmm. Fascinating research, Professor. Thank you so much for taking time for us today. You're welcome. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.